So, social media was going crazy when a dancer named Jazzy posted the following to her stories after QC's 500k stripper bowl party. You know, QC, quality control, Migos manager, yeah him. But yeah, she posted this picture of mad money and wrote, Since y'all got so many questions, we made three mil and split it 25 ways. You happy? Have some compassion and ask us how we feel counting until 1 p.m. My eyes are bleeding. Wow, right? Because if you split three mil 25 ways, that's 120k a piece. They would have made more than some of y'all favorite celebrities if that was the case. Mustn't be a bad career choice after all. So that made people go bonkers. Girls were on the gram like, why am I in school? If these girls shake their ass for a few hours and make someone's yearly salary. It was so crazy that people were DMing these dancers with their sob stories begging for at least $500 in blessings. I'm talking grown men talking about they single fathers this or need financial help that. Please, please, please. Aw oh, man, the discussion for this was steep. Everybody wanted in on this kind of money, but not so fast. One of the dancers that was there was sick of the fraud and straight up came through and said, that's BS. I was one of the dancers. We counted to like 11.30 a.m. and it was only $200,000. Each girl walked out with two grand. It was 110 girls. And she continued to let it be known that this is an effing scam, that she wasn't with the lion, that the 500k party was a complete waste of time, that she could have ran up a bigger check at home, that she regret doing the party. Man, she was going in. Now the dancer who originally made the three milli up came back to say, what did I start? Y'all really believe anything. I should run for president. Sarcasm, y'all. That was not no three mil. Come on. And people were going in on the issue. Other dancers laughing at these dancers because they didn't make a profit in their eyes. Because even though it was like almost 300k thrown altogether, the club allegedly took 30% off the bat from the counted cash on top of the house fee. So each girl made like 2K, house fee was 200. And for those who don't know what a house fee is, it's basically when you're a dancer, you have to pay to work, period. No, it sounds crazy, but that's the dancer's world that people have to really deal with. Cause the club figure, you know, you come to my club, you have to make mad money. I want a piece of it off the bat. But anyways, half of them flew themselves out and had to get their own hotel, you know, pay for their own hair, makeup, new outfit. Plus all 110 of them spent an additional eight hours inside counting every single dollar so they could split it evenly amongst them so other dancers you know on the outside looking in were kind of like haha that's what y'all thirsty asses get blah 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 and honestly some of the dancers that showed up expected to make like 20k i know it sounds crazy but they figure you know super bowl parties are usually a come up yearly so they really thought they were leaving with some real bread i mean 2k is not bad but you know considering expenses it might have been a loss in the original poster, Jazzy wrote, QC party was meant for dancers who was already in town. You sent your pics in hoping to get chose. Nobody asked you to fly in. If you complaining about expenses, then not only was this party not for you, but dancing ain't for you, period. That's regular-ish that come with it. If you don't got ninjas on deck ready to buy flights and hotels, pay for your hair and nails, and throw you some play money, then you hustling backwards and need to boss up for a check. I went out there zero dollars in the hole, meaning everything paid for so it's a 100% profit. Understand the biages complaining ain't on the same level. These bum bitches wasn't even dancers, they was bottle girls and regular street hoes in need of a come up. They should have paid their rent before they came. Bottom line is nobody left empty handed. It don't matter if it was two, three, four, or 5K. It was free money. You ain't even have to dance. It's more than anybody in the comments making one day and you ain't have to pop P for it. And I could look at you and know that's what you're doing back home. You ain't never been around 500K. That's why you packed your ish so effing fast and bought you some stripper shoes, ready to sell out, crying, laughing. That's what you get for trying to keep up with the big dogs. A couple of thousand regular to me too. I done had plenty, 10K, 20, 50K nights. You don't hear me complaining, all my bills paid. Y'all be just, just letting ninjas know you ain't got ish in the bank and you just burned your face card. Niggas never F with you again. Man, I know bitches who would have sold their ass for that two to 3K cause they barely made their house fee back. Some bitches popping ish, the same bitches who was sleeping on a dirty ass floor on top of garbage. Shoulda took a pick of your ass. 
stripping ain't for everybody. And this was free money, crying, laughing. Bitches be groupies. They was trying to get chose. Every rapper there I either knew or already been around or did parties for. Let one of these hoes had got pregnant by a ninja from the party. They wouldn't be complaining, crying, laughing. Want to be online talking about it was a scam and they could have made it in their own city. So why ain't you? Why you bet your last 2k on coming to this party? Just wanted a lifestyle change and for the record, we ain't have money counters because it was a strip club. It was a one time event at the regular nightclub. Why the f you just complaining? Y'all junkies was high and drunk off molly water, passed out on the floor. Y'all ain't count ish, but just had to keep checking y'all to wake the f up and count up. My section was the ones holding it down. We used the bussing down bags to the next day. Oh yeah, speaking of rappers, 2 chains was there in the section. Lil Boosie, you know, next to QC. QC was, man, I have receipts for y'all. He was busting boxes open, 20K boxes. They ran out of money. It was crazy, but you know, y'all gonna see the receipts. Anyway, let me just say this. I used to be in the game too, and one thing's for sure is just is nosy. Always wanna know how much money you made tonight, always in your pockets. That's why you should never show off what you make, especially not on social media. Chicks be bugging and then wonder why everybody wanna come and take their job doing too much plus the feds is really watching but that's none of my business but all in all that was definitely a money party the club had the brinks trucks out and they still ran out of change the thing is money was being thrown from overhead mainly into the crowd which is why the girls had no choice but to pool their money because honestly if they kept their own money someone would have left with way less and someone would have left with way more and it's crazy because people who came to see the dancers and enjoy the party ended up stealing money off the ground someone said man i took 400 dollars. i could not let all that money get past me and not do nothing it was crazy but, mm. but anyway people have to be mindful of what they post on social media especially if you have a following because people believe goddamn anything and they run with anything so if a dancer claims to make this grand amount of money of course folks going to believe it i mean they were the same ones inquiring how much you made because you invited them with these pictures you get my drift i mean i get it when people make money especially minorities we kind of feel compelled to post it or brag about it sometimes but you gotta remember the real money makers out there who are used to making money don't even post about it you would never know you would think they broke actually but you know i get why the dancer posted that they made three million because people are nosy as hell and like she said they were in her dms non-stop talking about how much you made so i know it gets annoying so of course she just threw a number out there to shut them up not knowing how much of an impact this was about to cause but again it goes back to whatever you post on social media someone's watching and of course someone always wants to know you sharing money pics with people they're going to count it right with their eyes they don't even got to be there like am i right but i can show y'all better than i can tell y'all so check it on out and let us know if you like stories like this okay
cat. This is what they do. Quality control. And we gotta give it up to these dancers because not one of them roached, okay? Not even the ones who are from New York who typically roach out here. Not a single one of them got to the ground being thirsty, scraping dollars like a bunch of headless chickens. Like roaches. I guess they don't play that in ATL because in New York clubs, it's a whole different ball game. But y'all ain't heard that from me. Sips tea. But what are y'all thinking about this overall? Leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. Like and follow facebook.com slash pettyblog. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing off.